But first, let's get a full roundup from the BBC Sports Centre. Here's Louisa. Hey, Louisa. Hi, Luxme. Yes, as you've been hearing, thousands have gathered to pay tribute to one of cricket's greatest stars, Shane Warne. The record-breaking leg spinner died three weeks ago at the age of just 52. Today, at the Melbourne Cricket Ground, his sporting home, he was honoured with a state memorial to celebrate his life. More than 50,000 people were there with speeches and music from some of the biggest names in sport and entertainment. The last couple of weeks have been an opportunity to really kind of reflect on that unique relationship and, and the relationship that he had with so many colleagues that, at, at various different places in cricket. Um, he just had such an impact on so many people, but for me personally, um, not just as a youngster growing up in the game and, and watching him on television and, and wanting to follow uh, in his footsteps in the way he played the game. You know, he, he was a bit of a gambler, but also just the magic he possessed. Um, on the field, off the field, in the commentary box, there'd be moments uh, I'd sit alongside him and, and there'd be a spark. He'd look at a game situation and it, he'd describe it perfectly to the wider audience. And he had a knack of uh, being able to do that as a broadcaster as well. We forget that. Elsewhere, we now know who's the first team into Sunday's final of the Women's Cricket World Cup. And will England be there to face them? Well, Captain Heather Knight says they can still improve as they prepare for their semi-final. The defending champions lost their first three games and needed four successive wins to book a meeting with South Africa in the early hours of tomorrow morning. England boss Gareth Southgate has called the booing of defender Harry Maguire in their 3-0 win over Ivory Coast an absolute joke. Maguire was singled out by some fans for criticism when his name was read out and at the start of the match, Liverpool captain Jordan Henderson took to social media to defend him after the game and Jack Grealish says it's unfair. Tiger Woods has prompted speculation he will return to competitive action at next week's Masters by completing a practice round at Augusta. The former... Well, you're all up to date. Back to you, Luxby. Louisa, thank you.